Expressing our feelings and emotions to others can help us develop deeper connections with others and is beneficial for our own well-being. In this video, we look at five ways to help you express your feelings. Number one, identify the emotion or feeling. It's important to identify with your feelings and emotions, allowing you to acknowledge them. Identify what changes in your body from reacting to something, either external or internal, and ask yourself, what am I feeling? What physical symptoms am I experiencing? What is the cause and why is it happening? Doing this helps you identify the triggers for certain feelings and sensations of the feelings themselves, developing a better understanding of them. Number two, express your emotions correctly. By understanding emotions, you can learn to express them in a controlled way, not numbing them, but neither overreacting due to them. Next is to learn to understand what is happening to you so that you can express it accurately and in the correct proportion to the circumstance. Be honest with your feelings, not just acknowledging that they exist, but how much impact they have on you in different situations. Do this to then proportionately express them with others, which will allow you to control the flow of the communication. Number three, utilize positive forms of communication. There are a variety of ways to express your feelings, but often positive communication is better received than negative. Have a pleasant tone, listen, make eye contact and express yourself with simple phrases like I feel stressed rather than drawn out statements, where the feeling is lost in the detail of the circumstance, which is often implicitly understood by the other person anyway. Number four, use your body. Our body communicates a great deal to others when we speak to people. Therefore, learn to use your body to better communicate feelings and emotions to others. This might be using eye contact and hand gestures, such as in our example of feeling stressed, you could put your hands on your heart, on your head or on your stomach, which naturally insinuates you feel discomfort in the state that you're in. Number five, visualize and localize emotions. Always remember that you are in control of your emotions, even in times when it feels like they're overwhelming you. Therefore, you are in charge of managing your emotions and feelings without repressing them and hiding them. Learn to express them so that you are able to relieve and ease yourself and your mind and to better understand the feelings. By doing so, you take control of your state and of your life. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more content to help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads.